Hello, I'm Firepug. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Ash, Ash from Titanfall 2, and what she's doing in Apex Legends. So, I made a video about this quite a while ago, and considering that old video has over 9,000 views, I think it's a good idea to make an updated one. So first, I'm just going to talk about the backstory behind Ash and who she is. Ash, just like Revenant, is a simulacrum, so she used to be a person. Once she died, they basically plugged in her brain into a robot, and now that robot follows the orders. Originally for the Apex Predators, a group of mercenaries led by Cuban Blisk, who we also know. Then, after Ash is destroyed, during the Titanfall 2 campaign actually by Jack Cooper, who you play in the campaign, she is then rebuilt by Vincent Dynamics and also used for them as well. Vincent Dynamics is a group that makes launchers, uh, like giant titan weapons and stuff like that. They don't, they're not necessarily good or bad, they sort of sell weapons to whoever will be willing to buy them. Then sometime in between working for Vincent Dynamics and when we found her under Kings Canyon in the vault, something must have happened where she got thrown out or something, but we're not really sure what fills in that gap. She must have just no longer served a purpose and they must have just thrown her into one of those vaults under Kings Canyon. As we saw her head was missing, that means all of her memory components were all taken apart, jumbled all up, and we had to discover those ourselves through the quests. All simulacrums deal with memory loss, so this is also a huge problem with Ash already. And then considering that her whole head was disassembled and had to be reassembled, she's having a lot of problems with remembering who she was. Of course, she probably doesn't really remember much at all, just remembering her past in general. And we see that same problem with Revenant inside of his trailers, especially when he has that shard of glass stuck in his neck and he sees his human self. All simulacrums deal with that problem with memory loss and is definitely a huge problem with Ash, which leads to a lot of frustration in her character, a lot of confusion, and a lot of curiosity as well. So that is all about Ash. Now do I think Ash is going to be a legend in Apex Legends? I personally do not. Originally I thought Ash was going to come out as a legend, however I'm not really thinking she ever will. I think she will continue to serve the purpose as a storyline character, sort of in the background, who we will see in comics, uh, mentioned in voice lines, that sort of thing, sort of in the background. Just like how I think Cuban Blisk is just, he's going to be in the background, he's not going to be joining the Apex games, but he's going to be affecting it from the outside. I think this is going to be the same thing with Ash. Although Ash was sort of leaked to be, to be a legend, nothing super confirmed, but it was leaked a little bit to be a legend. There isn't really any code right now in the game files for her to be a legend but it has been thrown around and rumored out there but my personal opinion again i do not think ash will be coming to the apex games as a legend one last thing i should add is we haven't heard a lot about ash recently in the quest and i'm guessing we're going to start hearing about that more maybe in the last half of these season eight quests but also into season nine as well just so because we're sort of left off on what's going on with Ash and how she's going to start affecting things. And personally, I'm really curious on what's going to be happening with that as well, too. It seems like she's still trying to figure everything out after coming out of basically some sort of long hibernation under King's Canyon. Now, let's just say I'm all wrong and Ash does become a legend. I'm just going to give something that I think could be some of her abilities. Now, of course, nothing is confirmed, but using what we know about Ash, this is going to be my best guess. Now, Ash did help develop explosive ticks in the Titanfall 2 campaign. She mentions how she made the Reapers able to shoot ticks out of them, basically deploy ticks. She's done some work with those explosive ticks, so maybe she will be able to use those. If you don't know what explosive tick is, basically it's like a loot tick, and it wanders around looking for some enemy, goes up to it, and explodes. She could do something with that. Also, she is a pilot, and pilots do have a ability to double jump and wall run. We've seen this using Apex Legends already. I don't know how useful it'd be, but it could definitely be some sort of passive or worked into a tactical as well. And for an ultimate, I'm going to propose something kind of crazy. I don't think this is accurate, but I think it'd be really cool and somewhat possible. But Ash is known for using a Ronin Titan. Ronin Titans are basically it's like the Wraith version of a Titan and they use a giant broadsword as a melee weapon. Maybe Ash could have a ultimate where she pulls up this giant broadsword and does super powerful melee attacks. Something super cool. I don't think it would probably happen in Apex Legends, 
but it's somewhat possible, somewhat reasonable, and I think it's pretty cool as well. Anyways, this is all I have for you guys in this video. If you do have any questions about anything regarding Ash, feel free to leave those in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.